Look how pretty this is. This is gorgeous. Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you have never been here before. This has been a very, 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 very requested Vogue recreation video. So we are going to be recreating Maddie Ziegler's Vogue tutorial. I'm excited for this one because in this one she does some like stuff on her eyes. It's very, very simplistic, but it's a little more than most of the people in these videos give, you know? Except for Doja Cats. Doja Cats like been the one that has actually been interesting. I feel like these are getting very repetitive and they kind of all do the same things. We're going to get started. Uh, I just have rollers in my hair because like I didn't style them with heat, but I I always put rollers in my hair in the morning like if I'm filming a video and I feel like it'll look better for the final result. This is actually makeup for two videos. I'm gonna be recreating somebody else's makeup tutorial. It is not a Vogue tutorial. I'll give you a hint. It's a TikToker. Yeah, you guys can guess who, who it's gonna be. Palette and so I already have moisturizer on, but I'm gonna go and prime my face. I didn't buy her primers and I didn't watch that part of the video. So I'm gonna go prime and then I will be back. Look how glowy and like healthy my skin looks. Literally just after all my primer. From making these videos, I think I have an addiction to makeup and just like all that stuff again. And I'm like starting to become really passionate about it. So expect a lot more makeup videos. I did this not that long ago, just for like a simple everyday look. And my skin was glowing and looked so amazing. It's a little extra, okay? It's, it's extra. For First, I go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and then I go in with the MAC Strobe Cream all over my face. Then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. Yeah, this is a prime and set, so you can put it on like before and then after. I thought primers and stuff were fake, like they were not that important, and like beauty companies just came out with it to sell people more things, but it actually does work. Some of them don't work but some of them do. Also, I'm growing in my eyebrows, cause like, why not? So we're just gonna jump into the video. Now I'm gonna move in with the Kogendo Moisture Foundation. So I just take about that much. What's crazy is like looking back, I wore so much more makeup when I was younger than I do now. I just feel like as I've gotten older, I've loved a more natural look and I've tried to embrace my natural self as best as I can. Kogendo Moisture Foundation. Also with what she said about wearing so much more makeup when you're younger. Yeah, I used to wear so much makeup and looking back at the pictures, I was like, girl, what are you doing? Cause I didn't do the makeup good. I don't even ask why I just have a knife laying in my room. This was really, really expensive, guys, okay, for this. So if this is like not the best product on the planet, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Ew. Do you see like the wetness around it? It's like separating. Every single time there's sirens, my dogs just go insane. And then they get the whole entire neighborhood of dogs going. Mix it up. She like takes that much, okay. Is that too light? I think I'm gonna have to go in with the beauty blender. I don't know if you can see what's happening like right there, but it's like separating so bad. And that could totally be it like not mixing with my primer. Like see that? All right, well not the most amazing start to the video and I'm so sad because my skin looked so good before this and now it looks weird i feel like every single time i go and blend it even with my fingers it just kind of like rubs off okay watch someone in the comments will tell me why it didn't work they'll be like well your primers were water-based and that's oil-based and they didn't mix that's probably why it's not working but hey i didn't know that so i'm pretty sure the next step is concealer so i'm gonna take the nars i've been using this for years and it's never failed me so why change it up i just do little dots under my eyes and then I just put it on the little friends that aren't welcome and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of a lighter concealer just to add more dimension so like I feel like in my t-zone is where I want it to be brighter she goes in with the NARS concealer in my other videos. I hype up this concealer so much, but recently I have kind of not like, I don't know if they changed their formula recently or something, clings more. Maybe my skin's drier and I don't notice it. I was on the search for another concealer cause I'm like, this just isn't cutting it. I've actually found another holy grail concealer. This is my favorite concealer ever. And it's the Laura Mercier concealer. It's literally the perfect skin match I have ever found in my life. It's the perfect coverage that I want. This stuff is so long wearing. The first time I wore it, it didn't budge all day and didn't like separate or like 
like look weird throughout the day. So she just goes in with a brush. I'm just gonna go in the, with the brush that I use and she just blends it out. I am very into creams. I hardly ever use powders. If anything, it's just to set the face. But in terms of bronzer, it's always a cream product. So I just go in, do circular motions and blend that in. So she goes in with a cream bronzer and I don't think they ha they like didn't have it at Ulta. So I'm just gonna use the Fenty matchstick. I never contour my jawline. Uh, <laughs> I'm always scared of not blending it and then just having like a straight line. But I've been practicing recently and I feel like, I feel like that looks like pretty good. I'm gonna do two cream blushes today because they give two different finishes. This is the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler. So I just do just two little dots like that. And I just feel like this gives such a cute look and I feel like it adds a lot to your makeup look. I like to bring it on the nose as well. I feel like just to kind of bring it all together. I ordered her blush pretty sure i got the same color this looks like the exact same color that she was using she just takes a little bit on her nail and kind of just like she rubs it in with her hands oh that was like really easy put some on her nose this blush is also incredible this is from charlotte tilbury and this is also another cream so i just do just a baby amount and i try to heavily focus that more where I would put the highlight. See how it's like honestly already starting to give me that highlighted look? This is a Beauty Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury and I remember when everyone was like going insane. People still go insane about these things. This was in a Madison Beers Vogue makeup tutorial. Everyone freaked out about it. It does give such like a pretty glow. This is a Dior one and I've literally been using this for four years now. I just, I love it and I swear by it and it's gonna be my go-to highlighter forever. So I just like to take a little bit on the high points of my face. This is the first ever Dior product that I have bought. I feel bougie. I feel famous. So this is it. Now I'm gonna move on with brows. Um, I like to keep them pretty natural just because once again, that's kind of my overall vibe. And I just think they just look so much better when they're brushed up. And then that way you don't have to worry about them for the rest of the day because they're just locked in place. So this is the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. It has like three little hair things right there. So it creates like strokes. You see that? It creates like little strokes like hairs. I'm just gonna brush my hairs up. It mainly does it like in the front. This might be a game changer. Oh my gosh. She goes in with a spoolie afterwards and brushes them up and like brushes through them again. I love this. Like I need to practice with it more, but I freaking love this product. This is amazing. Then she goes in with brow gel. This is my favorite powder. It's so lightweight so easy it just still looks like your skin which i love so i'm just gonna pat just the tiniest bit under my eyes i feel like i need a little bit just so it doesn't get even more creased over time so i'm not gonna lie i have already used this powder i had to test it out because i was so freaking excited to use it this stuff is amazing this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless Fla why can i not why can I not say that? Okay, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. Now we're going to move on to my favorite part, which is the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Angel. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Five. This is my perfect blue shade. And I'm gonna create some 
little lines and things. We'll see what I come up with, but I'm just gonna go for it. I lick my brush. I know that's probably gross, but I feel like everyone does it. I lick my brush too. I don't care if people think it's gross, because I know most of you probably have done it once in your lifetime. She goes in with this shade right here and it's called Angel. She takes this blue shade. <clears throat> oh my god, I got a comment the other day and they're like, when did it become so quirky to burp in videos? It's disgusting. It's so gross. And I commented back, um, it's not quirky. It's a bodily function that everybody does. I don't care. If you think it's that gross, don't watch my videos, you know? with that same blue and she goes on the bottom right here and creates like a reverse wing, she said. I love that so much. Okay. I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara. I've gone through so many mascaras and I feel like this one is equally volumizing and lengthening. my eyes complete like I'm really shocked it didn't really take that much time okay so she goes in with mascara next I started using grande lash and it's like a lash serum and I've been using it for like I think two weeks now and I have like already seen a difference in my eyelashes like I see a bunch of baby eyelashes that are starting to grow in and like my eyelashes curl better okay I'm gonna go and do this off camera so it turns out like good and then I'll be back this mascara is amazing. Look at that, my eyelashes are almost touching my eyebrows. Oh my gosh, okay. This mascara is great. Didn't even have to like go through them with a spoolie or anything. So today I'm gonna do my basically everyday lip combo. I like to kind of find shades that are closest to my natural lip color. I just slightly overline, just because I feel like it adds a lot. Barely go over. And then I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip pencil of all time. This is Subculture from MAC. This is my lip gloss from my collection. I think I messed up on the lip liners. It looks way too dark, so honestly, I'm just gonna be going in with the pinkier one, and that is Subculture. You guys know I've complained about my lips in the past because they are on the smaller side. Like a few months ago, if I was given the opportunity to go and get lip fillers, I would have taken it. But now, with all of your kind comments, I would not. Like I'm not gonna get lip filler now. And I'm saying that on the internet so that I can't go back on it. And like no shade to people who get lip fillers. Your life. I don't care what you do. Someone made a comment and they were like, your lips are beautiful naturally how they are. You don't need to get lip fillers. And they were like, if you get lip fillers, you're just gonna look like everybody else. But the way that they said it really like opened my eyes and I was like, oh wow. Like because like everyone is like unique in their own way. Thank you for everyone who has given me those kind comments because y'all are nice. Like I love you guys so much and I hope you guys know that. Like I think about you guys every single day. I love you guys. Okay, I'm gonna stop being cheesy and and sappy and put the freaking lip gloss on yeah just like a basic clear lip gloss it's not super sticky but I definitely can tell like my hair would get really stuck in it and stuff I'm gonna take my hair out really quick I always finish off a look with perfume I'm just gonna do a little so this is my final look. I just bought myself a perfume. I have never owned a perfume. The I've only owned like Victoria's Secret like body mist and like bath and body work, but I've never owned like an actual perfume before. I decided to splurge on myself and I bought one and I got the Marc Jacob, the Daisy Love one. And it's so pretty and I'm just gonna include it in the video because it's so cute and I love it. This is the final look guys. This might be one of my favorites. This one's really, really, really pretty. I love the eyes. This blue shade is so freaking gorgeous. As always, thank you so much for watching. And let me know who you guys want to see next. I already have another makeup video coming up. It's not a Vogue tutorial, but 
I feel like you guys will like the video. If you like this video and you want to see more of these, you can subscribe, you can give it a like, you can press the little like notification bell, and I would really appreciate it. I love you guys so freaking much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. My life breaks the scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Hey, always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gonna throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gonna get my drug use more dosage Like I damn baby girl I